These half inch diameter lamination rollers, they're aluminum heads, um, is the best thing I've found for chop strand mat, the size I'm using, which is the two ounce per square foot chop strand mat. I've tried the, the one inch diameter and the um, fins are a little bit too long on that guy. And you can continue reusing this indefinitely as long as you get all of the epoxy and fiberglass off of it. So acetone is key here for thinning the epoxy down and getting this stuff off. You also have to get the fiberglass fibers off. Um, you can hit the handle if you want. The epoxy doesn't hurt on the handle. It's in where it rolls. That's the matter. And you don't want epoxy to get in here because then your fins won't go all the way down and won't press stuff down as much. So you've got to clean all the epoxy from the fins and you have to clean it from inside to keep it, to keep it rolling. Um, and the fiberglass obviously is good to pull off. So usually these have a Phillips head screw here and you want to take that out and disassemble this thing completely before the epoxy dries obviously. Otherwise, you're not getting it out. Don't lose the screw. There's also a tiny little washer right here. You can take that out, just don't lose that. There's two little nubs on the back here. You can see some fibers and some epoxy got on the inside. And if you leave that in there, it will keep this thing from spinning. Ask me how I know, this is my second one. You can hit it with a blowtorch and maybe get it off, but it's best just to never let it get on. So you want to slide those fibers all the way off the end. There, I got most of them. And then you want to make sure you hit this thing with lots of acetone. If you have a container big enough to soak it, obviously you want to soak it completely. And just let that thing soak in acetone until there is no epoxy left on it thick enough to set up. So I do recommend disassembling it entirely um, every time you use it. And if you use it for a long time, you might start having the earliest batches of epoxy starting to set up on. I'm using slow cure hardener, so it gives me a lot of extra time. Um, but if you're doing fast set epoxy, you might want to have a second person just to clean your tools and to mix epoxy and stuff. Um, you might swap out tools halfway through so they can start cleaning the first set of tools. So here you can see I have all of the fins basically empty. There's one little piece there, which looks like it was going to stick anyways. Um, and so I like not reassembling it immediately, just so that if there is any epoxy on here, it'll harden up. Um, but you want to make sure you don't lose all the important parts. So I'll put the washer on and I'll take the screw and not all the way in, but you know, just screw it on though so it's not coming out. And so that way I can store this as two parts that are pretty big that won't get lost. Then of course you want to uh, dump the rest of your epoxy, which isn't too bad and can be reused one or two times. Despite my best efforts to clean this thing with acetone after using every time, eventually you get fiberglass stuck on it. Um, so I hit it with a blowtorch to burn the fiberglass. Well, it looks more silvery, seems to spin okay, so it looks like I burnt the fiberglass out from inside of it. Probably be good for another couple of deck boards before I have to buy a new one.